I know we just have just a minute or two, but I, I'm going to stretch this a little longer if I can. I want to ask this. People always say, and you may have heard this, and I think you'd like an answer to it. You know, the reason why we're having this trouble is because we support Israel. Yes. You know, answer that for me. Well, it's absolutely wrong because, A, these fanatics call America the great Satan. Mm -hmm. These fanatics hate our theology. They hate mm -hmm. our wealth. They hate our freedom. They hate our God. If Israel were not there, they would still be coming after us. Uh, this is something that has been seen uh, from the very origin of bin Laden as he has spoken these vile things about America. Mm -hmm. It is violent. It is vicious. Mm -hmm. And he is rallying the Islamic world that the moment America takes yeah. action, takes action, he's coming after us. Think about this. And because it's, it's important for Americans to, to recognize this, I hear that we give Israel $3 billion a year in foreign aid. Right. 90% of that money is spent right here in the United States mm -hmm. creating jobs for Americans where those planes are made and tanks are made that are sent to Israel. Mm -hmm. Israel is the only nation we've ever loaned money to that has paid us back. If Israel, the Israeli Defense Forces, were not in Israel, keeping stability mm -hmm. in the Middle East. Uh -huh. America would have to deploy their forces there to keep peace in the Middle East, and it would cost us mega billions a mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. because we cannot afford for anybody else to get their hands on that oil-rich Persian Gulf. If Israel was not there keeping the peace, Amen. we would have to go there and Ourselves. keep the peace. That money we give to Israel is a Kmart blue light special. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hallelujah. I tell you what, <laughs> three billion dollar blue light special. <laughs> Praise God. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, that, that, that's information. That's what we need in these times. You know, I, I, I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, but Jesse, I, I, I've been preaching and people ask me, what do we do? You know, well, let me tell you something. I, I can inspire you, but you know what? I love inspiration, but I got a good friend named Creflo Dollar and another good Bishop Frank or Bishop Keith Butler. He said, Jesse, we need more than inspiration. We need some information. In other words, we need to know what to do, when to do, and how to do it. Pastor Hage has really informed us, and I want to thank you and Diana for coming on the program. Glory to God. Pay attention because they better check their books. Mm -hmm. The last four wars we have had, the, li the little, smaller wars, not right. World War II, right. but the last four wars we've had have been to save Muslims. Isn't that something? That's amazing. Mm. And that's what we're trying to do. We're right. not here to hurt anybody. We're here to help people. Right. Here's the deal. Bin Laden's daughter is married to the head of the Taliban's son. Oh. And that's the connection there. That was a recent wedding. That, that was, was a, a recent very wedding. recent yeah. wedding, yeah. yes. Mm. And they're all tied in there together. He, the head of the so Taliban. It's family is, problems. He got family problems <laughs> right now. Like you talk about me and Doris sometimes. <laughs> they ain't, I just showed Mr. Bin Laden Doris. I mean, when we get to going, I'm telling you, man, he'd surrender tomorrow. Oh. But, uh, 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 but let me tell you something. The, this she word, looks so sweet and innocent. Yeah, yeah, you understand? You're I, laughing like yeah, you know what I'm yes, talking about. Did you say anything? I, 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 let me just say this. I've been beat up bad by this woman many times. Just want to tell you. Oh, we, we don't feel sorry for you. They don't hit you with a fist, man. They just got words and just go right through your heart. But let's forget that. Let me, yeah. I, I have. Get back to the subject. Get back to. What were we talking I about? I have no I idea. Family <laughs> problems and been loved. Um. Uh, uh, you know, Muhammad, the, the Islamic religion does not worship Muhammad. They get very angry when you call them Mohammedans. Mm -hmm. They're not Mohammedans. They're not followers of Muhammad. They worship God. They, have, they worship God as the Jews worship God. Now, a lot of people get mad at that, but it's a fact. Mm -hmm. Up to that point, they're okay. Both Jews and Arabs have been fighting for years and will be as long as there is time because they don't have the second step of the whole system. They go all the way through most of the New Testament. Jewish goes all the way through the Old Testament. But we need to have the Christ of God
tied in with these Muslim people. Dear Muslim people, Islamic people, listen, if you give your life to Jesus, this is a great time for you to, to give your life to Jesus Christ. You've seen that what the Muslims, uh, the radical Muslims teach are just about like the radical Baptist. You know, they, they cause problems for everybody else. I'm not talking about all, all Baptist radical. I'm in trouble now. I'm a Baptist, so I'm with them. See, I love them. I put up with them long enough. But I want to, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, the Islamic people, the Islamic people are our hope. George Bush is not at war with nations. He's at war with terrorists. Mm -hmm. And they're as mad at the terrorists because they're ruining their countries for them, mm -hmm. as we are. Right. Not quite as mad as we are right, right. now. Uncle Sam doesn't right. get angry easy, but he's pretty mad right now. Well, and I'm going to tell you, I remember Pearl Harbor. Yes, and I remember the exact climate. But let me tell you, out of the climate of Pearl Harbor came the greatest youth awakening in the history of the world. Youth for Christ was born. Billy Graham was created. Uh, a lot of these youth things, mm -hmm. the youth movement in Texas in the Southwest where 30,000 young people went into the ministry in five years, it caused a heavy spiritual reaction. Praise Folks, God. we're on the brink of a great revival. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is going to send a great awakening in America. And it's Amen. going to be the greatest awakening we've ever had. But you know, you know, uh, 